Well, that is up, guys. Fast back, back again. Uh, this is on my Smith account, trying to get this um, back up and rolling. Uh, today, bringing you Tristana AD Carry. Um, the matchups this game, it's looking to be Soraka and Tristana versus Vayne and Lulu. And we got Zed in the mid lane versus. Actually, I think that's Lulu mid and support no, Morgana. Support at Morgana is really annoying to verse, just because of the amount of time she locks down for. Um, and then in the top lane we got Renekton versus Fiora. So this is the new reworked Fiora, um, in case you guys didn't realise. And we... they don't have a jungler. Okay. In which case, I'd actually suspect it would be Vayne going top lane and then a Draven AD carry, which if it is, I'll be happy, um, just for our bot lane, because generally, um, since Draven is on free week this week, um, he's relatively um, difficult to try and pick up, so I'm kind of expecting him not to be very good. Um, so that's just why I'm hoping it's that lane. Um, but Vayne, I should be able to... Assuming I play it right, I should be able to play this out. So, I just wanted to uh, apologize, guys. Um, I uploaded two videos last night, um, but prior to that, I've had like a two weeks break. I mentioned in one of the videos, the reason for that was um, I've been having a lot of work at uni pile up. Um, just because it gets to a same certain point in the term and all the classes decide to release their assignments at the same time. Um, so it's been a little bit hectic for me. Um, but I'm hoping that I can get back onto a regular um, recording pattern um, for you guys. Rock is not backing off. That's annoying because that means um, some of the experience uh, from Grump is going to um, get divided, which is really annoying as a jungler. Ah, oh, damn it! I'm going to miss that. That was bad. Running without runes um, and a full set of masteries is really quite annoying um, because uh, you expect more damage, um, and when it co doesn't come. You, it, it's difficult to try and work around. Um, but it should just get easier. As. And I need to be careful here because they're about to hit level 2. There it is. And so, realistically, what I just want to try and do is. Um, just try and farm up. Because I'm going to scale better into the late game than Draven. Assuming that he doesn't get snowballing. Which, snowballing on Draven is extremely easy. Because of his... Um, um, his... Uh, passive gold gain. So I'm just trying to um, poke Morgana whenever she comes up. Because... Um, if I can get off free damage, then that's something I want to do. And I wanted to get damage on that Draven while he's ordering my um, Soraka. Because I never want to uh, trade damage with no gain. Because that's a, how you start to lose a lane. That's really annoying. I'm going to miss these two as well. That's really annoying. Okay. Alright, so starting off pretty shoddy. 2 CS down. Um, they're a little bit up on health, but I think that's probably because Soraka has been doing her medic thing. I really like playing with the Soraka support because it means that mistakes that I make are a little bit more forgiving. I need to be kept clear that I don't get hit by Morgana's blind because that would be a death sentence. <laughs> oh man, I am doing a terrible job at CSing here. Okay, so both Draven and I have popped out pots. I need to be trying to auto this person 
when they come into my attack range. Um, he's he's going to go for this um, minion here, so I'm just going to trade him while that's happening. Nicely done. That looks like top lane got first blood. Um, mid. Oh no, that's mid lane, sorry. My bad. I saw Jarvan was thinking top lane and forgot that that was actually our jungler. Because I got into Q before and we had a Jarvan jungle and then that got cancelled because um, someone left. So I'm actually going to um, try and push this wave out a little bit because it's pushing awfully hard on us. And I don't want to be stuck under tower again with a Draven and a Morgana. Because that can be very brutal if I get locked down. Unfortunately, explosives going to uh, stop me getting that. Anyway, top lane going down, Fiora and Bane. Uh, Fiora against Renekton and Vayne is quite a vicious combo because Renekton has a very strong early game and then Vayne has a very not strong late game. It it just doesn't burn well for Fiora. And from my understanding, this new Fiora doesn't really fit particularly well into a niche role. Um, because she's an, got an interesting kit. I, I like that Riot is willing to try new stuff, but it, um, she's yet to find her role in a team, I think. That being said, I haven't actually played it, so I don't think I'll uh, comment too much on it so far. Oh man, this explosive shot on <laughs> Tristana is uh, throwing me off. Okay, so it looks like Draven's backed. Um, so I'm going to try and uh, push this as hard as possible um, so that he misses as much minions as possible to a tower. Careful. I'm actually going to stick around and try and um, stay for a uh, BF sword because if I can do that, um, that would be fantastic. Okay, so he picked up pots and a vampire acceptor, so he's looking to go for the sustain game, um, which means if I can last out to get my um, BF sword, then I'm going to be in a far better situation than him. comes out glass, uh, classic Draven damage. I probably should have been a little bit more careful trying to trade him while he doesn't have items. That's right, why I don't have items. And here comes Morgana, which means I need to be very careful. Get a cannon minion. Okay, so I got my ulti. I can head back now and pick up a um, BF sword. Looks like we got Jarvan coming down for the gank. He may be looking to dive. Um, so I'm just trying to push this under tower as quickly as possible um, so that we can get into position. Alright, so Javan's clearing a pink ward. I'm just letting Soraka know I'm getting my BF sword. And it looks like bot lane's left anyway, which is actually very handy, because that means that I'm not going to lose particularly much while I'm out of lane. And I'm up on CS, which is good. Um, and I should be able to start harassing him in lane now because I am bonus extra 35 range, which means 5 to the 8, 5. I believe Draven is 560 or 580. Um, he's one of the mid range 80 carries that pumps out a lot of damage, but if I can stay out of his range. need him to do, probably die, um, because that way he'll lose his uh, admiration stacks and won't end up getting that huge pay 
at low. I just need to be careful of the Morgana Bind, because if I get caught by one of those, um, if they're competent, they'll follow up quite quickly. And I don't really need to be careful about a, um, a gank of a uh, jungler at the moment, and I'm caught. That's bad. And this is what I was talking about. I'm just going to jump out of her ulti. And... Uh, I don't think I need to ult here. Although... Draven is not running any of his axes. Um, which means... And he's low on mana. So I could actually go in now. Um, if he drops one of his axes... Because he's not going to be able to do particularly much um, when he's not running those axes. Unfortunately, in the long right way. <laughs> that was silly. Um, it launched me still after I uh, I got caught, just because the animation was locked in. So I'm just trying to harass him while he uh, gets minions. That way. It's a lot easier to um, uh, keep him pressured um, because if you're trying to win a lane, um, you need to keep the other person um, under pressure and you need to be the one um, making the game calls because if you're not, then you play the... Okay, we got a Lulu gank. Um, if you're not, then you're playing the passive player, which is um, okay. What I was gonna try and do was um, jump behind Draven and push him back if Soraka was still around, but Soraka went to base, um, which means that. Um, Uh, which meant that I had no backup in case something went sour. So I decided I'd not do that. Okay, so it looks like Morgana is just based. Should just gonna jump out here. Oh damn it! I hit the dragon. <laughs> oh, that was really bad. That would almost have worked if I jumped to about here. Ah <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pick up Zerk Greaves here. Ah, uh, do I want to? could pick up boots and a pickaxe, which would be hilarious, um, but I think Mazurka Greaves is going to be a better option here, and I'm going to, I want to blow my level 8, I'm going to switch out to um, the Scrying Orb, um, just because it'll help once I get that upgraded, to provide safe distance um, vision coverage. And there's a juicy wave building up bot lane, which I want to get. Because um, that will put me further ahead on this guy. And I'm actually just going to jump in to get that CS there. Now I need to play safe because I just burnt my um, only escape. Um, unfortunately, Strike had to burn her ults. And from the looks of it, that may have actually just saved Fiora. Um, I'm actually going to pop this here, try and stabilize the wave, because this guy's pushing me under the turret. <laughs> okay, that's really awkward. Nice, there we go. 
So I knew if I got my um, bus, uh, explosive shot on him and then jumped on him, it would deal enough damage. That's why I flashed into range. So I'm just letting uh, uh, Raka know that she's done a good job. And this Fiora is, Fiora is probably dead. Oh! Oh. For a minute there, I thought she was out. Um, so I'm going to pick up uh, Mana Pot, and I'm going to upgrade this. Because um, once you upgrade it, it will provide a semi-permanent ward. Um, it's visible to everyone, um, but it also increases the range at which I can cast this, and reduces the amount of time for cooldown reduction. Um, so at this point, I think I'm going to probably start to snow to all the lane. Um, Looks like Fiora is doing okay against Vayne, but Renekton's got a couple of kills, so... If he starts to go tanky, I'm going to need to position... Well, I really want that cannon minion. Sweet, okay. So I don't think Draven can actually fight me at this point, because I am... Uh, 40 AD up on him, but that's... He will get that from his spinning axes. Um... And Morgana is now here, so I need to be very careful. But yeah, they're doing the right thing at backing off. Because um, you don't want to fight when a Tristana's got her E on you. Um, just because of the amount of um, uh, damage it'll end up outputting. Sorry guys. Trying to focus on multiple things and talking at the same time. Uh, it's quite difficult. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to sit here, um, just try and CS, and I need to save Raka. I need to be careful of a Morgana binds. So back to CSing. We got four men bot, so. Damn. <laughs> Tried to get that with the ult. Shouldn't have probably done that, but um... Oh, well. That got us a, uh, a kill and an assist. And I'm taking tower. That's bad. Okay. Well, at least I got an assist on that. Alright. Got the tower, which is good. And we had five men down here. Nice. Uh... I'm out of mana, so this could be bad. Oh, I have mana pressure. <laughs> That's really awkward. I probably should have noticed that before. Alright, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to pick up a um, Infinity Edge, which is going to be a nice power spike for me. Um, I'm probably going to go straight for a Phantom Dancer next, because the only people with armor is Lulu with their Zonyas, and then Cloth Armor on Renekton, which is not that much. And I think the extra attack speed is going to be uh, very helpful for Tristana, because uh, you rely on your E for a lot of your damage, um, and so getting extra attack speed um, helps. Just letting uh, Jarvan know that there is warded, and Soraka doesn't have a pink, so she just needs to be very careful. Um, so I think we won lane, uh, which is really nice. We got drag in 20 seconds, and our team seems to be doing really well. It's 5 to 15. Um, but a lot of these early games... Just letting Jarvan know that it's 10 seconds to Dragon. We've got four people mid, so if Draven stays, he's going to uh, die very quickly. And with a Tristana, you push down uh, towers very quickly. Plus with a triple um, AD comp. Uh, so 
Jarvan does a lot of early attack damage. Um, you got Zed in mid lane, which is assassinate, and as far as I'm aware, Fiora still does a lot of um, AD damage. Um, also mixing in true damage now, though. So I'm actually going to go back to farming. Um, I'm fine. I've got a tower here. I have an ulti if I get dove. Just gonna drop a little bit of BM. That's <laughs> uh, always good. Need to be careful though. Um, looks like we... never mind, we're safe. So, once you upgrade your blue trinket, it drops like a permanent ward. Um, well, semi-permanent. It. I think lasts not as long as... I'm actually going to jump... Ah, oh, she got out of range. Damn. What I was trying to do was jump over her there, um, and then push her back towards the tower. Um, but unfortunately that didn't work so well. Um, so... So I'm telling Raka to go mid because she's going to be more effective uh, with the team. And so I'm just going to keep pressuring uh, down bot lane um, because we've got five people mid. I don't think I'm going to provide too much at this point. Um, I'm probably wrong and some of you are probably thinking, Ash, what are you, the flip are you talking about? Um, but I am personally love playing a split push game. And so, the fact that they're all there, I need to be careful though, because they're all backing off now. Um, okay, so we've got a Draven down here. I need to be careful about getting flanked, so I'm actually just going to back off now. And there's a Renekton. So I'm actually just going to jump over this wall and leave it behind. And I'm going to pick up my zeal, um, and I might actually just wait for a, um, oh, never mind. Zed got top lane. Um, in which case, I'm going to pick up two pots, just because it's always nice to have pots, especially on a squishy target. Um, they're less effective on tanks, um, just because it doesn't scale with their maxed health, but kind of in the mid game, it's still viable to pick up pots on an AK or a mid laner, per se. Alright, so we got Renekton Flash, which is alright. And I'm just looking to try and get something happening. Alright, so I got one. And I'm going to try and hammer on this Renekton while he's still in range of me. Um, um, what are you doing, Vayne? That Vayne made an interesting move there. And I could probably jump in here. Um, in fact, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, <laughs> that was probably a little bit too ham. Um, I ain't even mad. We got a huge minion wave still sitting here. And I'm just going to go like this. Five. And we got tower. And I'm probably dead. I'm most definitely dead. Oh, well. We got a tower. Probably not worth. But now they've got an open in, in here. So then again, um, we've got a couple of kills and an and inhibitor tower. So I'm actually thinking that's going to be worth. I'm telling her to leave because um, with that many people around, she can't hold that and she's just going to give up her life for it. Um, so I'm actually just going to pick up um, 
home guards, try and get there to defend, because the best we could do is try and defend that this second tier tower. Um, just need to be careful there, because they're all in that area. Alright, so we got vision of Lulu. Uh, veins there. So I'm just trying to pick this up so that we get vision in the uh, river. Um, Fiora burns her ults. I don't want to just walk into bushes that I don't can't see anything in. Uh, I think I may have just saved everyone. Never mind. So we got a five minute, uh, five second window. So if we can get this, yeah, it's not going to be an issue. Draven's up and drags up. So someone needs to go uh, top lane, but Dragon is up, so we should probably contest that. Um, and I don't think they're going to get here in time. Unfortunately, I don't have my ult to try and keep them busy if they do come in, though. And thankfully, uh, Tristana has a really safe range at which she can play at. Um, so we got that nice and quick, and we're just going to skedaddle out of here. So I'm actually just going to pop that down. So we've got Vision of Renekton. And if he tries to do anything... And that's watered. Uh, we shouldn't stay. Soraka is low. They've got three in there. J4, and I'm actually just going to try and defend this tower, because I don't want that to go down. Alright, and I'm actually just going to push out this wave as well, because getting extra farm as an AD carry is what you're meant to do, um, and whilst I do have the most CS in the game, um, I still want to be farming up as much as possible because I can now pick up my Phantom Nessa, um and the components of my um, um, Phantom uh, Last Whisper, sorry, which I definitely want to get now because uh, Renekton is going to be an issue and uh, Morgana's got a little bit and Lulu's picking up some uh, with the Zonyas. So I want to try and pick that up as quickly as possible. So I'm just going to wait for 10 gold and pick up a longsword. Um, but we're definitely in the driver's seat of this game. Um, it would take a, a lot to try and um, uh, lose this game. So what we're going to probably do is push out this wave. Um, hopefully our team doesn't die too much. <laughs> she got a war box. Nice. I always like seeing... Um, uh, health on and, and defensive stats on this new um, Fiora. Just because she deals a lot of true damage, uh, she doesn't necessarily need flat damage. Alright, if I come in here... Nice. And that's the Tristana cleanup. That's what she does. I really like playing Tristana. She provides a lot of safe 
gameplay because her attack range ends up becoming a massive, um, massively huge. And she pushes down turrets, which, if you guys know me, um, I love the split push game. Um, being able to split down, uh, pressuring it in another place while um, the rest of my team is engaging. And that's game. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That was Tristana AD Carry. Um, if you guys want to leave me a like if you enjoyed and a comment of anything you want me to see, uh, want me to play in the future, um, that would be great. But as usual, have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.